In some parts of the world today, the church is celebrating a feast in honor of Mary, Our Lady of Ransom. It's also known as Our Lady of Mercy. And though it's not part of our mass calendar here in the U.S., I've always found the story behind it fascinating and inspiring. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki with the story of Our Lady of Ransom. The year was 1218, when much of Spain was under Muslim control. The Blessed Mother appeared in three different visions to St. Peter Nolasco, a wealthy nobleman, St. Raymond of Peñafort, a professor of canon law, and King James I of Aragon. She asked them to start a new religious order known as the Order of Our Lady of Ransom, or the Mercedarians, whose purpose would be to liberate Christians who had been kidnapped and enslaved by the Moors. They were to do this by means of prayer and raising money to ransom the slaves. They even took a vow to give themselves up as hostages should all else fail in obtaining the release of their enslaved brothers and sisters. The work of ransoming Christians continued until 1779 when the last captive was released. Was that the end of the Mercedarians? No, for there is always the need to be ransomed from various enslavements so they continue the work of helping people who are at risk of losing their faith and their lives because of new slaveries. They work in jails, marginal neighborhoods, among addicts, and in hospitals. Do you know someone who's enslaved to an addiction or who is in danger of losing their faith? Let's pray for them now. Mary, Our Lady of Ransom, intercede for those who are enslaved to sin in any way and help them to find the freedom that God wants for his children. Amen.